Today we're looking at the Philips Coreline High Bay Generation 4 by Signify. So let's get it out of the box and see what we've got. Now, Gen 4, it only seems like whew, a matter of weeks since we're on Generation 3, but LED technology is moving all of the time. So on Philips, keep up to date with that changes. So that normally means better performance and better features. So the first thing I notice on this packaging is that they've moved to cardboard which is yeah, obviously a lot better, a lot easier to manage, a lot easier to recycle. And here's what we've got in the box. So let's just put the packaging out of the way for now. So a lot of the time you'll hear these LED high bear replacements referred to as UFOs, and a lot of them actually look like an alien landscape, especially when you look at the back. But this, uh, this core line unit here is pretty sleek. Normal environment, you expect to see these in factories, warehouses, but with this one, nice design it wouldn't be out of place in possibly some of those big box retail environments as well now what you have to remember is however big that looks it's tiny compared to the shoe box you're typically replacing so the version i've got here is 10,000 lumens and that comes in at 69 watts nearly 150 lumens per watt so that's the prime motivator most people are moving to leds for that energy saving but this range goes all the way up to 25,000 lumens so you can typically replace everything from those typical 250 watt to 400 watt metal halide lamp sources that are still out there in the droves. So let's, let's dive in and have a look at the bit that the electrician matters about. How do you connect it up? It's quite simple. There's this inline connector. So it's just a case of unscrewing the barrel. And so just, yeah, first thing to remember, make sure you put the, uh, put the cable gland part over your wire before you start wiring it in. I'll just chop that to length. And prepare the ends. Now, a lot of people obviously think that the main driver to fit LED high bay is obviously energy saving, but let's not forget about those salient benefits of LED technology. It's that move to a better type of lighting. So, a lot of these, a lot of the existing HID units still, even in some cases, have sodium lamps in there so imagine working the day in orange light and moving over to a nice crisp white light and this range comes in everything from 4000 kelvin which i've got here all the way up to six and a half thousand kelvin along with obviously that improved light quality we can also think about that instant light from the moment you switch it on so a traditional unit that we've placed here like the shoe box you switch them on and you're waiting and you're waiting and there's a lot of noise, and then eventually you get that working light. But obviously then remember, if that power fails or you have a dip, the lights can fail, and then you have to go through the process again. LED, we don't have that instant light from the moment you switch it on. Just finish up this connection. Put the ferrules on there. We love a ferrule at eFix, as everyone will know. Okay, so then it's just the three screw terminals in this connector. Now the useful thing about this connection method is you're not actually opening up the fixture itself so you're preserving that IP65 rating. There's no risk of damaging that integrity because you don't need to go in there. So it's a, it's a maintenance free fitting, no, no lamps to replace so you never need to open it up. But interesting it seems to be designed as well to allow for disassembly at the end of life so everything seems to be screwed together in there. Not that we're going in there to have a look. Uh, another little interesting point to look at on the back of here, there's something here we'll see service tag, which we'll come back to later to see what that means and what that does. So there, I've done that connection. So screw the barrel back in place on that connector and then tighten up the cable gland to give the IP rating back to the connector. And there we go. Job done, simple. Okay, so we'll look at the mounting options. Now these units typically be hanging from a roof and the hook mount will be the most popular option and that comes with the unit and that's quite simple just screw it into the back there is an alternative to have a mounting bracket so say you're going to wall mount it and we'll do that so just screw that all the way into there um, there is a little grub screw on the side of this unit just to stop that um, 
just to stop the hoop coming out. So just tighten that up uh, and that's really secure. And then we've got this other additional screw that goes through the hoop to make sure it doesn't come off the chain. So I'm not saying we're going to get any earthquakes in the UK, but you never know. Someone might hit that with a forklift or something like that if they're not being careful where they're going. So that's the mounting options. Uh, a few of the things to look at on the unit. Um, obviously, factories, uh, you know, warehousing can be quite dusty environments. This sleek design means you're not going to have a liability for lots of dust to sit on the top of the unit. It's quite a free-flowing design. If you think of some of those other UFOs I mentioned earlier with the big heatsink structures on the back that can mount up the dust. Um, spin it over. I'll take the cellophane off that comes with it. Um, the driver's inside there. We've got this nice optical surface here. It comes in two beam angles. So this is the 90 degree version. Um, and interesting things there, again, this surface is all smooth. So again, we're not gonna get a dust buildup. Now, if we think of our traditional high bay, flies, dust inside there, it's probably, you know, never mind the lumen maintenance. Now this unit here has a lumen maintenance of 80% output at 50,000 hours. But in the industrial environment, it can actually be the dust that causes the biggest lumen loss. So you will still need to clean them, but certainly not as much as the traditional unit. And you've got this flat surface, so there's not going to be a big dust build up there. The other major advantage of LED technology to get that payback is the long lamp life. But obviously, if you're going to fit a unit, you want to be sure up high that you're not going to have to go back there and replace it with premature failures. This Philips unit comes with a five year warranty. Now that's backed by Philips heritage in the lighting sector. So you can be sure when you're putting that unit up there, it's gonna be supported for that time. If I flip the unit back over, let's revisit this service tag on the back. In the Gen 3 product, the barcode simply took you through to a data sheet for the product. But this service tag opens up a whole load of new possibilities that we haven't seen before. So we think that's worthy of a separate video. So check that out either above my head or check the playlist at the end of this video. So all that remains to do in this video is, as you would do at a trade show, blind the audience with the high bear.